Hey everybody, Jared back, and this is Pac-Man ROM for your HTC One. This is also a very, very early build. I don't know if Pac-Man's ever really had nightlies before. I, I can't remember. Um, if I'm wrong, go ahead and correct me in the comments below. But anyways, obviously very early build along with Sanjin Mod, AOKP, um, using, you know, I believe from the same libs. I don't know. But anyways, <clears throat> um, lots of stuff is working in here, you know. Uh, one thing that I did want to point out, though, however, is um, in AOKP and Sanjin Mod, um, you have to actually enable the uh, overflow button there, the menu button there. And um, when I did so in Sanjin Mod, <clears throat> there was no... Um, settings option and there actually is now a dial pad settings option so obviously that along with many other things have been worked on and fixed uh, in this version of pack of pac-man rom um, so that uh, as well as if I can go ahead and jump in here yes dude th for some reason that keeps coming up every time I jump into the uh, application drawer um, the camera is also working however this is suffering from the same thing that cyanogen mod is which is two megapixels is our max that we can uh, have access to. So anyways, um, this, for those of you that don't know, uh, obviously I'll be doing a full review on all of those ROMs down the road once they become a little more stable and I can use them as a daily driver. Um, Pac-Man is basically paranoid Android. God, get into the settings. Are you gonna let me? Oh, apparently we can't, so there's another little bug. We can't access the settings at this point. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that was strange. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, Pac, Man ROM is Paranoid Android, um, AOKP, and Cyanogen Mod all kind of wrapped up neatly. Now, uh, generally speaking, this is the layout of Pac-Man ROM. Um, it's basically the dual screen because of the whole Paranoid Android settings sort of layout um, where you've got the dual screen settings here. But um, for, it's, a, it's too small for me on the HTC One. That is just way too small for me to see. Um, you know, just sort of naturally glance at my settings and look for what I'm going for. I really have to kind of squint my eyes, you know, or at least bring it closer to my face. Uh, so anyways, of course, we've got our ROM control, which is from AOKP. We've got our, where the heck is it, system from Sanjin Mod. And of course, we have our, boom, beloved hybrid properties from Paranoid Android, which happens to be one of my favorite um, custom AOSP-based ROMs uh, for any Android device. What they've done with this ROM is just amazing. Uh, so anyways, um, it's it's too early for me to use the daily driver to give you guys any real reviews on it or anything like that. Kind of let you know what is and what isn't working for me. Uh, but anyways, with that said, of course, like the other videos, I've downloaded Quadrant and Antutu. So we're going to go ahead and run Quadrant here. Battery on my camera is dying, so I'm really hoping that um, uh, this doesn't shut down uh, mid-benchmark. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the footage for you guys, and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, so we're done our benchmark with Quadrant. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final results. And of course, like all the other videos, it's completely unoptimized. So let me squint my eyes. So we're getting 6,226, which is actually, you know, several hundred lower than um, the other uh, benchmarks we were doing on the previous uh, ROMs, such as uh, Sanjin Mod and AOKP uh, earlier. So we're going to go ahead and run our N22 and see what this comes up with. And we'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, and we're done our N22 benchmark, and the final score is 23,348, and we'll go ahead and check out what we can compare that to, which I'm guessing is the Galaxy S4 i9500 octa-core version, which of course it is at 30,675, just like all the other. So don't take any of these benchmarks, um, you know, as what the ROMs and their finished states are going to perform like. Obviously, it's probably going to be quite different uh, when that day comes. But anyways, it's just for fun. thought you guys might be interested. I'll be posting a link in the description below so you can go ahead and download this ROM but just keep in mind it is still very early alpha uh, version
versions, so many things might be broken, um, and experiences do vary from user to user and device to device. Uh, anyways, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and shoot me some love. Hit that likes button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on all my videos, as well as follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. Uh, again, thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.